Welcome back guys to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and today we are officially 20 days away from Scream 6 coming out on March 10th. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> I know you guys are too. Um, I know we officially just had a giveaway for the movie, and congrats again to T for winning those tickets. Uh, I know coming up in about a couple months, we want to do another ticket giveaway for the Super Mario movie coming out, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but yeah. I wanted to analyze this new trailer or TV spot that just came out called Ready. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to be pausing the video as we talk about it. Uh, and I kind of want to point some out, some things out during the trailer or during the video. So just be aware. Um, and I kind of want to just get my thoughts as we watch it. So let's take a look. Oh, snap. Okay, so there's one thing I wanted to go back and take a look at right here. So this is a scene with Chad. It looks like Chad is defending off a ghost face. Uh, he's actually in the shrine that's going on in the movie. But one thing, if you notice, I'm going to move my mouse here. You see a figure right here. And then you also see a figure right here. So it looks like Chad is fighting off two ghost faces. Now that already indicates to me that there's going to be two ghost faces or even more, right? But my question is though, is this another ghost face behind him or is this just bad quality of the video? Because I think this video is only in like 360p. <laughs> uh, you know, is this the bad quality of the video or is this actually him fighting off a whole nother ghost face and then another one on the ground here? Viewer Anon, if you follow him on Twitter, he did talk about chad being the heart of the movie so i don't know if chad's going to die i don't know if chad's going to sacrifice himself for another character that's something we're going to have to find out on march 10th that's going to be interesting um but yeah this is going to be a cool scene because he's actually fighting in the um the shrine right so one of the other things is that you can notice a couple things behind him you notice tatum's outfit from scream one uh you notice um the stab memorabilia looks like there's some I don't know, evidence over here going on. So this is going to be a really probably a heartbreaking scene, but also a cool fight scene with Chad that he's going to be taking a look. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to pause it here and take a look at that. Also, this we get a new chase scene with Gail, right? As you can see in the trailer, uh, we already saw that Gail's going to get a chase scene. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be very reminiscent of her chase scene in Scream 2. Um, you know, it seems like to me, you know, as Gail being a OG character, I think a lot of her um, skills are going to come out over the years. You know, she's been attacked by Ghostface, what, how many times now over the years? So she has a lot of experience in this. Uh, you know, she she's definitely going to be smarter than she was years ago when, you know, Scream 1 and 2 and 3 was made. Um, so she's going to have that sense of maturity when it comes to running away from Ghostface and kind of know what to do. Now, my personal opinion is I think Gail's going to get very cocky in this movie just because she has been doing this for so long. Kind of like Sydney, right, in Scream 5 when Ghostface gave her a call. Um, or I should say Richie, right? <laughs> and she was like, I'm bored, and she hung up the phone on him. I feel like Gail's going to get in that way where it's kind of going to catch her off guard. And I think we're going to be really surprised on what happens in this movie. I personally don't believe Gail's going to die. I think that she will live through the whole movie. That's just my personal opinion. But, you know, I don't think they would kill Dewey and then kill Gail right off the bat on the next movie. I just don't think they would do that because she is the only returning OG in this movie, right? I mean, Kirby doesn't count as an OG. I mean, she was in Scream 4, but... You know, that movie wasn't the original trilogy back in one, two, and three. So, you know, I'm talking about OG like Randy, Gale, and Sydney. So, but yeah, I just wanted to point this out. Looks like we're going to get an outside scene of her huge apartment that she's got going on here in New York. So I think this is going to be a really fun chase scene as well. And um, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff going on here. Now, I'm curious to see in this movie if when characters are getting chased, if there's going to be a whole nother ghost face on screen. Because we've never seen like two Joe ghost faces one time on screen, you know, and I just. The director's already said that this movie's going to be a lot different than the other ones, so we're, we're going to have to find out if the um, we're actually going to get two ghost faces on screen at one time. 
So yeah, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to kind of point this out that she's going to be having a chase scene here. It looks like she's on her balcony of her apartment. Maybe she's at a friend's house. Uh, maybe this is just her apartment in New York. You know, we don't know. Um, this is something we're going to have to find out on March 10th. So let's keep going. Uh, right now we have a shot of Samira weaving. Uh, she is the, I think I'm saying her name right, right? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, she's the main actress from Ready or Not. She's returning. We don't know much about her yet. Uh, some people have speculated that she's actually Liv, Liv's sister, right? She's a Mackenzie. So that's going to be something that uh, we're going to have to pay attention to and see if she actually turns out to be a Mackenzie. And she actually might be a big part of this movie, too. So we're going to have to find out. Um, <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> But yeah, guys, look at we're only a few weeks away. Uh, I already got my tickets to the movie. I'm gonna be going with a couple of friends of mine. Excuse me, I can't wait to watch it. Um, sorry if I sound a little, uh, you know, not as happy today. <laughs> uh, I've I've had a few comments in the YouTube videos where people were, um, I don't know, being kind of mean and stuff. And you know, I I don't I don't make these YouTube videos to get a lot of attention, and I just do these videos because they're fun and I enjoy the screen movies and um you know it, it's disheartening when you hear from people who comment on YouTube videos and like you suck and you know and that's okay right like I don't I don't take these things to heart it's just it's kind of a it's kind of a downer when you hear that kind of stuff you know because I don't make these you know I don't do a living on this is just a side hobby just for fun and when you have people who comment on this stuff and they're kind of mean, it's like, oh, well, it, it doesn't make you feel good, right? So I just want to let you guys know, you know, I'm going to continue making these YouTube videos, whether you like them or not. <laughs> I just have fun with them, uh, you know, just here to give my opinions on the movies. And I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do. You know, I, I'm just here to have a good time and here to just, um, yeah, talk about the movies and and uh, give my ideas on video games and different things I enjoy. So, but uh, anyways. Um, I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts on this new ready trailer. It looks really cool. I can't wait for the movie, um, coming out on March 10th. It's coming up pretty quick. And, uh, as always guys, my name is Nathan. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.